Hey, and welcome to your pick a card. This one is going to be all about what's coming in for you financially. I have finally made it down my list far enough to get to this one that I have been absolutely burning to get to because not a lot of people do financial readings here. So if this gets well received, I will do a weekly financial forecast if you guys would like, but you guys got to let me know down in them comments below. <clears throat> Anybody else who is new here and you like this type of video, please feel free to consider subscribing to our big happy family and you will get a weekly forecast for financials from me. But again, this has to be well received and I have to know down in my comments below. So your choices tonight with this reading are this pile one with this half dollar, the quarter for pile two, and pile number three, my second half dollar. These half dollars actually have a really big um, significant meaning to me because they were given to me by my dad when I was younger, before he passed. And I finally found an awesome way to incorporate them into my daily use other than them sitting on a shelf and collecting dust and staring at them, missing my dad. So I figured I'd throw them in for the weekly financial forecast if this is what this is going to turn out to be for you guys. So if you need any extra time after me babbling like this for a while, timestamps will be down below. So feel free to pause the video and we're going to jump right in with pile one. Okay. Alrighty. So for my folks who chose pile number one, let's see what we have. I used for tonight's decks, the eight coin tattoo tarot and also my angels of abundance. So we have the chariot, the empress, the tower, and the Knight of swords. So this is definitely going to make, be a major week this week for you guys especially with um, if you are worried about your financials whatever is keeping you up at night you feel like there's definitely like you you're really nervous is what I'm getting about losing everything even though things are going just fine because you're doing what you need to do right now in order to keep moving forward and to keep things afloat is what I'm getting from this car these cards. So let's see what we get from the Angels of Abundance for you guys to help you out. We have block out distractions. <clears throat> your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to um, responsibly block them out. So with this, I feel like since you already know what you need to do this week in order to keep things going financially um, well for you and to keep bringing in the money, they're asking you to continue blocking out whatever distractions are um, almost kind of like hindering you or weighing on your mind with the um, things that are worrying you the most. I feel like that's a major distraction for you. Then we have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have every high energy is to have very high energy levels. Excuse me. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. So with this, I feel like I hear money exercises. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that's exactly what I just heard is money exercises. So I feel like making a budget sheet and seeing what can go where and kind of like moving some finances around if you need to. And doing different um, spreadsheets with them. If you have something like on your computer to do a spreadsheet and it'll help you to put things in order. And that's kind of like a money exercise to me because that's kind of what I do with my finances. I put everything on a spreadsheet and it totals like everything up that I need. And it also puts everything in order for what I have and what I need to um, dish out for that week's paycheck. And it actually really works well for me. <clears throat> we have gratitude list. We have continuing 
um, your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you are, um, already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who you are grateful for right or what and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. So with this, I always get the attitude of gratitude. <laughs> like it, it always comes in for me every time I hear like anything to do with gratitude. And I feel like and I've said this before in a lot of other videos to make this list. So if you haven't listened to me and you're um, a repeat watcher of mine <laughs> or um, someone who loves to watch my videos, then you already know that I've said this before. And just to keep going with it and to keep doing it, if you've already applied um, that advice to what you do now. And also you don't have to write things down. You can always keep this in your head and make a new list constantly fresh over and over in your mind and it'll help keep you at a higher vibration with kind of like um saying like positive affirmations things that you're grateful for <clears throat> as a reminder then we have take a divinely guided chance all positive change and success ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appro um, appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So I feel like with this, if there's something that you feel lately that is kind of a risk financially, I would say look at it from all different types of angles and maybe also ask other people for um, maybe like their thoughts on and their opinions on this to kind of get like an extra perspective in on it and then make your decision after that because I'm really attracted to what looks like scales in this and how there's two people plus um you are definitely being divinely guided towards whatever this is and you are also being helped behind the scenes as well as what I'm getting with this so these are your financial messages for the week and I do hope that they resonated and also help you Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, so for my lovies who picked the quarter for pile number two, let's see what we get. I used the eight coins tattoo tarot this week for some tarot messages, for some overall guidance. And then I also used the angel of abundance deck for some extra angel um, guidance to help you out during this week. Ooh, we have the knight of pentacles. So we have some fast energy coming in. We have the 10 of cups. We have the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like with these cards, what I'm getting right away is that there's some new financial ideas coming in or news of a new job coming in is what I'm hearing with this card. I feel like there's definitely going to be like a rush of energy coming in. And I know that this night is somewhat of the slowest nights in the deck, but I feel like it's a more fast-paced energy because I feel like whatever happened in the past is the worst is finally behind you with this. Like if you lost a job, I feel like you're going to have another opportunity coming in for you at this time. And I feel like it's going to finally give you that <sighs> aha breathing moment because you have the 10 of cups and it's going to help you financially at home. I feel with this. And if you are interested in um, starting your own home based business, I feel like this is a good sign to start with that as well. And then I also have the Seven of Swords. I feel like it's definitely um, cold for you to keep an eye on things as well and to be careful of who you trust because I'm really attracted to this um, wolf on top of her head. So I feel like whoever is around you at this time, I feel like it's definitely a need to keep an eye on watching your own back and watching out for who you trust is what I'm getting with this. Then for the Angels of Abundance, I have ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to your aid if you, act, if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. So I feel like if you have 
like for those who are in a relationship i feel like asking your spouse right now for some much needed advice and their opinion on things to have them help weigh in on whatever decisions you are making at this time financially for you guys okay i also feel like your prayers are also being answered and heard at this time from this as well as what i'm getting we have successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of god that gave you the idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other um investments but i felt the need to say wise investments are available to help you so with this i feel like this is definitely whatever you've decided to put your money into or like um towards i feel like it's going to have a successful outcome for you at this time and i feel like it's going to be a very abundant one we have released jealousy jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you if they can have it so can you so that's definitely a call to keep that in mind and to not uh, belittle and berate yourself and to know that you are just as successful as everybody else and you are equal if not on the same page as everyone else as well so just keep that in mind okay we have visualized abundance in all forms god gave you such a great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful healthful positive and filled with blessings and that is what you will experience so with this it's kind of like the like attract likes is what i'm hearing and definitely keep up on the positive affirmations and the positive visualizations of money coming into you at this time because if you've been practicing that keep doing it and it'll keep helping you along the way okay these are your messages i do hope that this helped and i know these these were really quick but this was just kind of like a trial run for this video thank you guys so much for watching liking and subscribing to my videos and i will see you next time hey and welcome back so i have gotten to pile number three so if you've chosen this pile let's see what we get we used for this week's um financial uh guidance for the week we used the eight coin tattoo tarot and also the abundant angels of abundance deck for some quick messages so we have strength and six of hang on i'm like wait a minute what card is this six of wands because i almost wanted to say pentacles because i'm really attracted to the orbs and i'm like wait a minute that just totally threw me off because it's not pentacles <laughs> it's the eight of six of wands so it's definitely a successful time because you've been remaining strong with this and whatever it is that you're doing and it's also caused you to look at everything from a different perspective with the uh hanged man and the moon card and to see things that are unknown to you at this time from different angles and to approach them from a higher perspective as well is what i'm getting with these i know that was a little bit confusing but i feel like because you're approaching the unknown and trying to see things from a higher perspective and different angles that is making you stronger and wiser with this and that you will have an abundant success by doing so and it will also be um keeping you on your toes because i'm really attracted to her feet in this so let's see what we get from the angels of abundance we have savings as you consistently save for your future your future is saved you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present um present funds this is part of your self-care and path to feeling secure and f you focus upon um your life purpose so with this i feel like they're telling you to put a little bit of money aside this week and a little bit more each and every other paycheck that you each paycheck that you get to have like kind of like a little nest egg on the side so that way you'll have like some rainy day funds okay 
I'm like so excited that I'm like, I got to take a deep breath and slow down. <laughs> we have dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So as we always tell you guys to keep a dream journal, it's definitely called for at this time because I feel like it's going to give you some um, really good ideas financially to um, also stay on your toes and ahead of the game with whatever you don't see coming. So it's basically saying expect the unexpected with these cards and this one, okay? So we have, it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be able, or yeah, be able, <laughs> be a conduit for good coming um, to you and through you as it is, as it blesses the world. Ugh, that was a tongue twister for me for some reason. So with this, I feel like sometimes you are the type to feel like it's hard for you to ask for help from, um, for resources from others. And I feel like they're asking you and trying to remind you that it is okay to have a handout and ask someone for a little bit of help when it is needed and to put that pride aside. Okay. We have detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you, whom you are spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. So with this, I feel like there is definitely a leech among the friends. So I feel like you need to be more open and aware because I feel like this is something that you may not see coming in. And this is trying to get your attention to also, like I said before, expect the unexpected and to watch your back as well with whoever it is around you, especially if there's money involved. Keep a tight eye on your funds and I think everything should work out just fine by doing so. Okay, so these are your messages. I do hope everything works out for you guys and I hope that these messages resonated. If they do not, please take what does and leave the rest. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing and watching my videos and I will see you next time. Have a blessed day.